Hello and welcome to Coach's Corner. My name is Dean Ma. Here we are on the first tee at Eleanor Country Club. Let's talk about the first tee jitters. Uh, they're a thing mainly because you're a little bit nervous. And I think there's a good couple of ways of handling those nerves and hopefully giving yourself the best chance to hit a good shot. It is a difficult first tee shot. For a lot of you, you're struggling to make it to the fairway and to keep it between the tree lines. Uh, so it does require you to hopefully hit a great shot and that can help to sort of build your confidence for the rest of the day. So to me, there are three things I like to kind of think about. The first one is making sure that I'm not gripping the club too tight. It's very, very easy to do that. I think you do, it happens without you even thinking about it. You grip the club when you're setting up and it, your hands become too tight and that makes you much more prone to sort of flicking your hands at the ball and that can turn the club left or you can actually freeze on it because you're so tight with your hands and the club doesn't actually release and you block it out to the right. So really important to kind of shake out those hands and just basically hold the club almost, I don't want to say loosely, but just really as softly as you feel like you can while maintaining control of that club. The second thing I think about is just making a good backswing shoulder turn. So I like to feel like my shoulder, my left shoulder goes under my chin. I think that's a great way of sort of winding up in the backswing and making sure I'm actually using my body to hit through the shot and not just my hands. So this kind of relates to that sort of tight hand scenario when people are nervous. They pull the club away with their hands and that can actually get them into a really poor position at the top of their swing and it sets them up again for failure. So we want to avoid that if we can. The final thing is that this tee box actually aims people to the left and that can trick them up. Essentially they can, they're used to sort of aligning with the general direction of the tee box and they're going to set up to the left with their feet and they're going to hit it left. So I want to make sure that I'm not tricked up by this uh, tee box. I'm actually going to use something which is a, a short target. So I'll pick actually something in the distance, my long target, and draw a straight line back to my ball. What this will pass through is a little spot just ahead of the ball. And what I'm going to actually do is aim my club face directly at that as I'm setting up. So if I can do that really, really well, set my club face up square, then I can set my feet up to that club face. And again, I'm not going to be tricked up by this tee box going to the left. So once I've set this up nice and square, then I'm just going to have nice soft hands and get ready to make a good shoulder turn. And then hopefully hit a nice tee shot off that first hole into play and enjoy the rest of my day and have a good score. But it doesn't make or break your round. It just makes things a little bit easier to have confidence, I think, if you get off to a good start. And of course, I'm gonna mention just quietly, having a good warm up is important as well because you can kind of do those, at least those two things of soft hands and shoulder turn while you warm up. So good luck. I look forward to hearing how your first tee shots go. Hopefully you handle those jit as well and, uh, and play really well.